Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's look, I did go ahead and create this everyday makeup look for you guys. On a regular day, I can create this look in 20 minutes. Um, I did use the BH Cosmetics and Carly Bible palette to create this look. Um, the palette is very, very pretty. It has all these shades in here and it comes with highlighters as well, which is what I use today. I did tap into the Kylie Cosmetics palette um, just to use some of the darker shades because this one does not have a black in it and I did go ahead and use um, the black on the upper lash line um, instead of using wing liner today so um, if you guys want to see how I created this look then please keep on watching <music> Alrighty guys, so I have already done some something something to my brows just because I cannot stand looking at them when I'm doing my makeup and they're completely bare. Fill them in with the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I'm in the shade Brunette and I just went ahead and did a little bit of shading in. They're not done. This is just so that I don't go crazy looking at them. But we will go ahead and finish the brows up once we get to that area. So to prime the face, I am using this Catrice Prime and Fine Primer. It's supposed to smooth out and refine your wrinkles. Not that we have any wrinkles, at least not yet, but we do want to go ahead and fill in the pores. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take the container. It looks like this. And I'm just grabbing a little bit of that on my nail, and I am just going to go ahead and apply that on the T-zone area so that we can go ahead and smooth it out so that our foundation goes on nice and soft. After our primer is on, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the foundation. The foundation that I'm using today is my Maybelline Fit Me. This is my everyday go to work um, foundation. Um, I just find that it stays on and it keeps me matte throughout the day, which I find that a lot of drugstore foundations are hard to come by. So this is my go-to everyday foundation. And what I like to do is I just like to apply a little bit of this onto the back of my hand. We will just go ahead and start dotting it on the face. And then you're always able to go back in and apply more if needed, but I just like a little bit of coverage. I don't have too many imperfections. There are some, you know, zits and problem areas that come up, but not too crazy. So I like medium coverage foundations, but this foundation is great. If you want to build it up, you can definitely do that and get more coverage. And then taking anything else that's left on the back of my hand, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the cheek area. Just so we don't waste any of that product. Once we have blended our foundation, I like to go in and conceal. So the concealer that I'm going to be using is this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And it is in the shade 20, which is sand. And I am just going to go ahead and apply a good amount of this under the eye in a triangle shape. And this will brighten up the under eye and make us have more of an awake look concealing those under eye circles. So for every day, we want to make sure we don't look like zombies. So we want to go ahead and just conceal any of the imperfections and those dark circles. And taking my beauty blender, I'm just going to go ahead and spray it with the Mario Badescu face spray. And then we're just going to go ahead and blend that concealer in. And don't forget to get your eyelids because your eyelids sometimes tend to be a little veiny or have some discoloration, so we want to make sure we conceal everything. So 
this step is optional. I do like adding a little bit of extra coverage right in this area of the eye just to conceal any darkness or any of these lines that pop through. So for that, I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm using the yellow corrector shade. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this product and I'm just going to go ahead and dab it right in the inner corner area of the eye. And this will just highlight a little bit. For every day, I don't contour or highlight as much, but I still, on everyday looks, want to look nice and fresh. So this helps do that. And then going back in with the Beauty Blender, just going to blend that in. And then make sure to bring that in all the way up into the inner corner so that it gives it that highlight effect on the eye. So to set the face, we're going to be taking the Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is in the shade Naturally. On a daily basis, I do not bake. We do not have time for that, especially in the mornings and going to work. So what I do is I just take a small dome brush like this one and I just grab that powder and I just take whatever is in the cap. So like this pretty much and I just roll that around and I'm just going to go ahead and dab that under the eye and just set that concealer. We still want to stay matte throughout the day so if, for me if I don't set the concealer then it creases and it looks all sorts of crazy. And I am oily so setting my face definitely helps keep my face matte throughout the day. Okay, so once we set the face, we can go ahead and start on our eyes. Today, I'm going to be using the Carly Bible Palette, which looks like this. And it is perfect for every day because it does have a range of colors. It has shimmers, it has mattes, it has dark tones, and it definitely has some of the warmer shades. And then what I really do like is that it has these highlight colors. So I actually don't even need to pull out my own highlighter for this purpose. I can just go ahead and tap into this palette and use everything in here. Um, for today's look, I'm thinking of sticking to something that will be easy to create in the morning. So I'm just going to go ahead and play with these two shades right here, this darker orangey color and then this lighter orange color for the crease. And then I might put a little bit of a bronzy um, shade on the lid. So we'll go ahead and play around with that. I honestly did not think this through, so this is just kind of winging it. So let's go ahead Picking and do our makeup. the two shades. I'm just going to mix them. So I'm going to take it on a Morphe 535 brush. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up those two colors. And then we're just going to go ahead and apply that on our lid. ahead and use windshield wiper motions and we're just going to go ahead and blend that all on the eyelid. Going back into the palette I'm just I like to build up the color so I go into the palette maybe at least two or three times before I move on to the next color. and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this shade in here that one is called Goldstone yeah Goldstone I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up on the same brush and I'm just gonna drag that in just to add a little more definition and a little more warmth onto the look and then while we're here actually let's go ahead and fix the brows so using the same palette, I'm going to go in with the brown shade and the dark shade. So, And I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of both of those and I'm just going to apply it on the brows. When I'm doing an everyday look, I usually stick to powders for my brows just because they're easier to work with in the mornings. But if it's like a full glam, um, not an everyday look, and I'm actually going to be staying out or anything like that, I like, I like to use the pomade because it actually stays on longer and then we're just going to be really light with the brows nothing too intense and then i just 
go in once and try and use all of that product. And then whatever is left over, I like to drag into the very front of the brow um, so that it's not super bold. Then for our lid shade, I am thinking of going with a smoky look. So it's just super simple. You just grab your finger and you go into this shade right in here. This palette does not have names for the shades, which is kind of a bummer. But um, this is an easy process. You just literally tap it on all over the lid. And you can do this every morning and it will still be super easy. And this coppery color is so pretty. And like I said, it's so easy to work with and you really don't need a brush and you can be messy with it and it'll still look nice and we're just gonna go ahead and blend out the, um, the edges I'm gonna go just ahead and grab this minute. color that is this brown color in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to blend out around where we put that shadow just so we can soften it up In with the Morphe M535 brush I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up that darker orangey shade from the palette which is right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and run that through the eye just to make sure we blend all the harsh edges and everything is nice and soft I'm gonna take this color right here and we're gonna go ahead and place that under the brow bone just to give it a nice highlight we never want to leave the brow bone bare just because then it just does not accentuate the brow at all. For the inner corner highlight, we're going to be taking um, this white shade here. It's a highlight, but it's super frosty and white, and I really love using this to add a pop of color, especially on the inner corner tear duct if you're looking for a white color this is like perfect see how pretty that is all right so that is for that we're going to go ahead and come back to the bottom lash so for right now we're going to go ahead and work on the rest of our face so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm just going to bronze up a little bit we're not contouring because like i did say for an everyday look i do not have time to contour in the mornings um so what i'm going to be using is the kat von d shade and light palette and i'm going to go into this with a angled brush like so and then we're just going to go ahead and pick up literally i go into all of them and i'm just going to go ahead and bronze up the cheeks Taking a smaller um, angled brush, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the same shades and I'm just going to do a slight contour on my nose. I personally like to contour my nose every day, no matter if it's an everyday look, if I'm going to a store, going out, whatever the case is, I like to contour the nose just slightly. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this angled brush and do a slight contour on my nose. I just feel if I don't do this step, my face just doesn't look right. <laughs> All right, to finish up on the eyes, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go into the Kylie palette and I'm gonna be taking this obsidian color, which is just the black, and I'm gonna go ahead and run that on the upper um, lash line on both eyes and then we're gonna go ahead and tight line the eye too with some black liner. <music> falsies for this look of course you guys know that I don't use any falsies in any of my videos um, I just like to do this trick because it thickens up that lash line and once I do apply the coats of mascara it ends up looking like I have full fuller lashes so I like this trick <music> to wiggle it around so that it gives it a little bit of a smoky effect and then for the eyeliner that I'm going to be using is going to be this Urban Decay 24 7 gel liner and I'm just going to take it and run it on the upper lash line and the blush that I'm going to be picking up is this one by Tarte 
and the color is feisty and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on the apples of my cheeks just to give them a, le um, a little bit of flush of color. And I just like keeping this right on the t um, apples of my cheeks. I don't really like to drag it back too much just because I want there to be a little bit of definition between where the bronzer is and where my blush is. And I like to run a little bit right up here and just through here because it just gives it a more natural look. Kind of like sun-kissed, you know? And for highlighter, we're gonna go into the palette and we're just gonna go ahead and mix the two shades. And I'm just gonna use a fan brush for that. And here are the colors. So I'm gonna be taking this pinky color and this gold shade right here. And they're super pigmented, you guys. They're very pretty shades. So I like using it right at the high points of my face. Like, see that color? Anyways, I like to use it on the tops of my cheeks, on the bridge of my nose, on the cupid's bow, and a little bit on the forehead. <music> I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Brow Precise. You already know this is my go-to. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this just to make sure that the that the brows stay in place and just to mold them a little bit more. Just like that. See this brow? This brow. This brow? This brow. Now that we have done that, we're going to go ahead and apply our mascara. So we're going to curl the lashes, apply mascara, and apply some on the bottom of the lashes. And for the lash combo today, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Lash Sensational and my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and apply these buddies on my eyes, and I will be right back. Alrighty, so lashes are on. My lashes are on <laughs> and um, so moving on to the lips um, I'm thinking of using two colors this one's a little bit more on the pinky side and then this one um, from NYX is more on the orangey side so I like to mix them both together to give it like my perfect shade I guess so I'm gonna go ahead and outline my lips with the Milani spice pencil and then I'm gonna go in and fill in with those lippies for everyday looks I do like to use nude colors it's just, I think everyone's go-to, but this is my favorite. And this ColourPop Lippy is in the color Times Square. The next one is by NYX, and it is in the name Ruffle Trim. <laughs> Pretty much this is it um, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the face I like to double set um, I like to use the Mario Badescu face mist um, to hydrate the skin and then to set the makeup I like to use my make it last by Milani so yeah you guys this completes the makeup look it's very simple to achieve um, if I was not filming I could create this look in about maybe 15 minutes tops it does look like it's a lot but honestly even just using that bronzy shade in that Carly Bible palette if you were to just put that all over the lid instead of having to go in with the crease colors it would be even easier to um, create this look I like how it turned out it's very wearable again very on the neutral side and very everyday. I hope you guys enjoyed and give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos and thank you for watching.